turns and shoots. And gets the friendly roll. The Blue Devils on the board. Shot clock down to six. Oh, tough shot. And he rattles it in. Blake's doing a great job defensively as well. That's one of the big, biggest differences in this new team. We mentioned their top 10 nationally only has allowed them 53.2 points per game. And now Jeremy Rose. They know that they're playing against Duke. But at the same time, it's a basketball game with an opportunity to, uh-oh. See, these are the type of plays that take me completely out of my thought process. I wonder what Robbie Hummel is doing next door. <laughs> well, as you saw, they are just underway. Iowa State and Villanova at Motor Center. We are at Veterans Memorial Coliseum. And obviously, if they re-rank them, as our guy Paul Biancardi does. Luke doesn't know the shot clock. Apparently, Rose did. They've got to go look at that. They're going to have to go review that. I don't know if Jeremy Rose got that shot off in time. Lively sets the screen for Rose. Thought about it. Now to Mitchell with five on the shot clock. Change to the right hand, and Marial says, get that out of here. Well, that's one of the advantages that Oregon State so doesn't even bother trying to take that look, and Duke walks away with the empty possession. Duke has missed 20 of its last 24 shots, including 0 for 7 here in the second half. Last year with the Beavers played 29 games, started more than half of those, playing a bigger role even here this season. Off the window, Philadelphia. Midway through the second half, the eighth ranked team in the country trails by six. Make it four, and it could be down to three with Filipowski heading to the line. But right back to Duke, no change of possession, so 10 on the shot clock. Roach finds an opening in the lane, gets the roll. Pope for the top. No, long rebound. Tap back out. Three seconds to the runner. It's no good. And the Blue Devils survive.